All right, folks, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get that Minecraft Pocket Edition Android server that we set up in our first video. And I'm going to show you how to make it publicly accessible to anyone in the world. If you haven't seen the first part of the series, please click here and this will guide you through the initial steps on how to set up the server. So the key part behind making your Minecraft Pocket Edition server or any game server for that matter public is port forwarding. Port forwarding takes ports on your local network and makes them public so that anyone can access them. This is usually done with a Wi-Fi router. However, if you're using an Android device and you're using 3G or 4G, you don't need a router, which will be the focus of this video. Instead, you're gonna need an app called Forward. This essentially allows your phone to act as an internet router and port forward on 3G or 4G data. So once you have forward downloaded, let's get started. To use your Android phone to host your public server, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that your data network is public. You can do this within forward by clicking into the settings tab in the top right hand corner and tapping the version number until the advanced settings tab appears. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into IP checker. Down here at the bottom, you can see uh, the data network. You need this to be public in order for your phone to port forward. If it isn't, you're gonna need to wanna contact your ISP and they'll be able to get you a public IP address. So now that you have forward downloaded, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the most up-to-date .far and pocketmine version as detailed in the last video. So going into pocketmine, before we start our server, we're going to want to press this little button in the top right hand corner and we're going to want to go to Properties Editor. We're going to want to change the default Minecraft port of 19132 to 2000 and then we're going to want to save. Ensure you're connected to mobile data and start your server. So we're going to start our server, then we're going to want to check the console which is the little monitor icon in the top right hand corner. We're going to want to scroll down and wait until it says done. And once it says done, we're ready to go. So now we want to open our port. We do this by using forward. So we want to click into forward and we want to create a rule. So we press the little plus sign in the bottom right. The rule title we want to call it Minecraft PE. For the protocol, we want to have it set to both. The from, we want to have it set to our data network. The port, we put in 19132, the default port for Pocketmine. Then for target, we want to change the port to 2000. The target IP address we can get by going back into Pocketmine. Um, we want to lower the console. And we can see here the IP address 188.30.99.68. We want to put that into forward so we go back into forward we put in that ip address which is 188.30.99.68 and press save so now that we have a rule we want to start port forwarding so we would press start and as you can see in the system tray we have uh, the port being forwarded now at the moment using forward Okay, so there you go. We successfully port forwarded and our Minecraft server is now publicly accessible. So we're gonna wanna go into Minecraft and now it's time to join the server. So we're gonna hit play here and go to the friends tab. And we're gonna wanna press this little button beside add friend and we're gonna put in our server. So for the time being, we're gonna call the server FTB. The server address, we're gonna put in our IP as before, 188.30.99.68. And our port, we're gonna change it from 19132 to 2000. Okay, and then press save. And then we're locating our server here. And as you can see, the server's active, so let's go join it. Okay, so we're in Minecraft here and we're in the server. Just gonna wait for someone to join here. And as you can see, uh, my friend on a iOS device has joined me in the server. 
Okay, so we now have a publicly joinable Minecraft server. So all you gotta do is give your friends the IP address and the port you're using and you're good to go. Okay folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. All links to the apps and steps will be in the description below. So if you have any problem at all, please feel free to put a comment down in the comment section below. But until next time my friends, goodbye.